our eternal, omnipotent, all-loving God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us today. Amen. Have you ever looked for something and then discovered it was right before your eyes, but you missed it? That happens to me sometimes when I'm looking in the refrigerator. Maybe I want to find the pickle jar. I want to find the pickle slices, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm moving stuff, and I can't find it. And then I ask my wife, can you help me find the pickles? She comes up, she just pulls them right in front of me. If they're just right, I just didn't see it, right? It's like, it's like I was blindfolded. I just couldn't see it. In our story this week with the, with the Ethiopian and Philip, the Ethiopian was reading God's word. It was right there, the promise about Jesus giving up his life, but he just didn't see it. And when it comes to spiritual things, we're all naturally blind. We just can't see it. Without the Holy Spirit, we wouldn't see what the Bible really means. We'd read the words. We'd be, it'd be right before our eyes, but we'd miss it. And so we thank God that he sends people like Philip, but also the Holy Spirit to open our eyes so we can see Jesus. And if you know that Jesus died and rose for you, thank God the Holy Spirit for doing that. And when you share God's word with other people, it always takes the Holy Spirit to open their eyes. So be patient with them. Trust and pray for the Holy Spirit to let your words and the other words of, that people are sharing with them open their eyes to see God who is right before them and who loves them so much. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your Holy Spirit and how he's opened our eyes and our hearts to believe your word. Lord, we ask you to help us share your word with others and open the eyes of all people to know that you are the Savior of the world. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep it. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.